go into our tool palette here. We're going to select a cube 3D, drag it onto my canvas, go into edit mode, and make poly mesh 3D. We'll hit W, go into the gear icon, and you're going to see there's a new subdivide option. So we do subdivide. You're going to have the choice between a smooth subdivide or a faceted subdivide. Right now, the smooth subdivide by default is set to 1. If we set that to 0, we just have our usual cube here. And now if we do a faceted subdivide, you're going to see it'll subdivide, but it's not going to average any vertices. However, I go to this one, the smooth subdivide, as I subdivide up, it is going to average my vertices. So depending on what type of object you're doing or what result you want, you can do faceted or smooth. And if you're happy with those results, you can go in here and hit accept. Or if you're not, you can just delete that deformer out of there completely. This is going to be doing the same functionality as going over here to geometry. And here you see we have divide. So as we divide this object, it's averaging the vertices. If we undo that and we turn off the smooth modifier and we divide this up, you're going to see we're adding resolution and if we go in here and we turn off polyframe and turn it back on again, you're going to see we're actually uh, doing that faceted subdivide. If you delete lower, you'll see the individual polygons here. Now, alternative to doing real subdivisions, what we can do is we can go down here to dynamic and you can turn on dynamic subdivisions. And this will just give you a preview. So if we turn this up to four, here is a preview of what it would look like if we subdivided. If we do shift D, That'll take us out of that mode, and then D will put us back into dynamic mode. So if you don't want to commit to full subdivisions, and you still want to have access to be able to go in here with your Z modeler brush and to continue to uh, model, you can do just do Shift D and D to give you a preview. But if you do want to go ahead and subdivide this thing, you can either go over here with your smooth modifier and divide this up, or go into your transforms, go to subdivide, and either do a smooth or a faceted subdivide. And now you can hit accept and you've got your subdivided mesh. Now you might notice when we did a subdivide, it didn't give us any subdivision history. If you go over here and hit reconstruct, you'll be able to reconstruct back to your original object, and now you have your subdivision history over here. Same thing with the faceted.